on in and have some fun. So just come in and learn with us with the mouse in the house. Hi guys, my name is Max. Welcome to my lab. Together with our studio members, we're going to be looking at electricity and how to produce a current using two lemons, a sharp knife, three wires with crocodile clips, four metal plates, two made out of zinc and two made out of copper, and a digital clock. Let's begin the experiment. Cut two slots into the first lemon, about one centimeter apart. Now, insert the metal plates into these slots. Make sure you push them all the way down. Now we do the same with the second lemon. Connect the crocodile clips to the zinc plate of the first lemon to the copper plates of the second lemon. The red positive wire connects to the copper and the black negative wire connects to the zinc. Now connect the digital clock to the open ends and see the electricity current flow. Can you tell us what makes the lemon produce electricity? When you connect the two different types of metal in a circuit, they produce a small electric current. The lemon does not produce any electricity itself. Instead, the juice in the lemon acts as an electrolyte, which allows the current to flow. If you use other metal, can you maybe perhaps shock yourself? No, the amount of current and voltage produced is very small. Can you use any other fruit? Yes, potatoes, apples or any other fruit or vegetables containing acid can be used. But lemons are preferred because of their higher acidity. Now you try. Remember to be very careful when using a sharp knife and always have adult supervision. crocodile clips are all properly connected, you will get a current flow. Here you can see the flow of the current through the lemon battery. The current flows from the positive copper to the negative zinc and powers the clock. So now we've seen how to make electricity using fruit found in your home. Test your skills with today's tongue twister. Fat frogs flying past fast. Fat frogs flying past fast. See if you can make any more shocking discoveries when you experiment with electricity. Well, that was another great experiment. See you later.